In this question, we are asked to uh, calculate the difference of uh, two measurements, but we have the added complexity that we have uncertainties in it. So let's calculate the difference first. So we have got 839 minus 197 microliter. This gives us 642 microliters. So that's the difference. But what are we going to do with the uncertainties? Well, we can see these uncertainties as the sides of uh, a triangle. So for example, we've got two microliter here and three microliter here. And the uncertainty of the difference is nothing else but this side of the triangle. And we can very easily uh, calculate that because we know, if we call this C, this one is A, this one is B, we know that A square plus B square equals C square. So with that we can calculate the uncertainty we can calculate C. So C is just simply the square root of A square plus B square. And we just simply put our uncertainties in here. So our combined uncertainty is the square root of 2 square plus 3 square. And that is uh, square root of 4 plus 9, that gives 13. Let's just simply calculate our uncertainty. So that is, we are looking for the square root of 13. So square root of 13 equals 3.6056. 3.6. 3.6. So that is 3.6056. So that would be our uncertainty. Now how are we going to report that? We know that for reporting of uncertainties we should really use only one significant figure. One significant figure that in this case would be 3, because we've got 3.6, we would round that up to 4. So what we are going to do is we report our result as plus or minus 4 microliter. Now this uncertainty here is uh, the unit position of uh, the number and therefore we need to have the same position in our result. So we would report this as 642 plus minus 4 microliter. We can't do it any more uh, precisely because this position here, this dictates the last position in our result. So the correct reporting would be 642 plus or minus 4 microliter. I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.